Welcome to Two Minute Tuesdays. I received a question from Pauline through the website, and it says, I've been told that when someone is lying, they touch their face. Is this true? And how do I decipher what is a normal touch of the face and what is a lying touch of the face? All right, let's see what how we can approach this. Lie detection is very complicated, and it's hard to cover in two minutes. So let's just say that one of the things you do in lie detection is look and observe someone, observe someone and see what they look like when they're telling the truth. It's called baselining. And then one of the other steps is to see how that baseline changes when they're talking or saying something. Because if it changes dramatically, it could mean that they're lying. You have to look for red flags or clusters of red flags, not just one. I mean, if someone rubs their nose once, maybe they have fluff in their nose. But if there's several lying cues at once, then you pay attention and dig deeper. Researchers have determined that we have a, a specific tissue in our nose that will swell when we lie and create a little bit of itchiness. When I go dancing, if I itch my nose, they say, means I'm gonna kiss a fool. I don't know if that happens, hasn't happened yet. <laughs> but touching the nose can be a sign of discomfort. Just think about little kids, you know, when you ask them something and then they go. When they say something because it's not true or they say something that is true, but they're not comfortable with it. Rather than looking for lying and telling the truth, I look for comfort and discomfort. It's a little less dramatic. If someone covers their mouth, after they say something, touches their nose, blinks a lot. These are all forms of blocking. Or they do this when they say something. They're not comfortable with what they're saying, either because they're telling the truth and they're not comfortable with what they have to reveal, or it could be that they are not telling 100% the truth. I hope this helps. If you have any questions, go to the website nonverbalscience.com to submit your questions. And if you would like to come for one of my trainings, I offer on-site and um, workshops here in my office. All right? Talk to you soon. See you next week.